is that's Axis Securities. But since it is our 23rd birthday today, we thought of inviting someone who's been with us perhaps through the course of these 23 years. Someone who has been a mentor, a guide, a friend and has given us perhaps equal amount of bouquets and brickbats through the course of this 23-year journey. Samir Arora, founder and fund manager at Helios Capital is joining us now. Uh, Samir, uh, you know, we have some visuals. I, I don't know if you can see them, but... Uh, oh, starting I'm looking from smart. <laughs> oh, you can? Okay, way back in the day. You don't look very different now, I mean, to be honest. Just, I guess, a little more hair, a little plumper, some more... Uh, you know, weight on your face. Okay, look at that, Asian Tigers. I was way back in the day, right? When uh, I think Udyan was in Singapore with you. Um, so, it is as much your birthday, Samir, as it is ours. Because... I wish I, wish I was 23. <laughs> <laughs> Samir, you're only you're only a little older than 23, so I mean that's 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 also one of the reasons why we we decided to invite you. 24, 25, right? But I was there more or less on the first day plus minus. I would have been there on your. Journey. That's what I said. I mean, stop sh stopping short of sitting here with us in the studio. You've been with us through this whole journey, ups and downs. But um... yeah, it's too many brick bats, I think. Maybe once in a while. <laughs> On Twitter, maybe a little more. <laughs> but I, mean, I count and call it business channel. It's all part of the course, yeah. <laughs> but Samir, you know, I mean, this is um, this is a great journey for us, and we've had so many people tell us that you know, through the ups and downs of the Indian economy, we have sort of come out with views, opinions, facts, and we've been steady through it all. And thank you for being a part of our journey. But um, what do you feel? is sort of, you know, the next couple of years for the market. Will we continue to have this? One thing has been constant, the equity cult has only grown. Do you think that will be the case? So that, of course, is clearly the case and has been for the last four or five years. The only thing is we should not take the market performance for granted. Right now, what is happening is that, of course, we are bullish and generally India is doing well relatively and even absolutely. But every day we are ignoring everything else just on the basis that we have this domestic investor base which wants to start and they have done well and they've held through these sort of bad phase of COVID and after that. But still, I think every day they just take it as if it is a given that in the end of the day it's going to be up. For example, in the last two days, markets are down so much or even last month, once in a while, whenever these things have happened, we have become overconfident, I think, which I think is not, I mean, as a market, not as me personally. That's an important point, uh, Samir, that, uh, uh, you know, not to, not to take things for granted, take outperformance for granted.